Hey, Alabama 4-H. My name is Christy Miller, and I'm a 2020-2021 4-H state ambassador for this year from Shelby County. Today, I have joined with me Mr. Ken Starkey. Mr. Ken, how are you doing this morning? Good morning. Doing great. Awesome. So today, Mr. Ken is going to tell us a little bit about what his what's like on his job. So let's go ahead and start out. What is your job title? And then let's just tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my job title is I'm a certified registered nurse anesthetist or a CRNA. Um, I am 50 years old and uh, lived in Alabama my entire life. Awesome. So let's, since you said you're a nurse anesthetist, what exactly do you do each day at work? My job is to take care of patients who are having surgery, uh, depending on which hospital or where you work. Uh, that might be more involved early on getting them ready for surgery. Uh, at my hospital, it's more uh, involved just simply during the, uh, the whole time that they're in the surgery, uh, making sure that they're comfortable when they come out, taking care of them and giving whatever they need while they're having surgery. Awesome. So how, how long have you been in this career field? I've been about 17 or 18 years. Wow. So did you always know that you wanted to pursue a career in the medical field? My mother worked for doctors, and when I was younger, that sounded interesting. And just like I'm sure every other kid, they love sports and whatever. They were interested in everything. Um, and the more I was around the things like uh, like medicine, the more uh, the more attracted those things looked. And I took a job at a hospital just to help me pay for school. And now as I discovered this job, I thought, well, that sounds like a really good job. So the more I learned about it, the more attractive it became. And uh, started just actually focusing on getting the degrees necessary for this job, and I'm, I'm really thankful that I did. Awesome. So what was your initial major in college? There were about 75 of them. You know, I was your typical 18-year-old that didn't have a clue what they wanted to do, and the major changed about every different week, and somebody would mention something that sounded good. But uh, as I settled in and started understanding uh, more about uh, the nurse anesthesia job, um, it required, as most different careers do, a specific education. And this one in particular required a four-year or a bachelor's degree in nursing. And then at the time, it was a master's degree in nurse anesthesia, so which would be specialized training specifically for, for anesthesia and to do what I do. Awesome. So have you always worked at UAB? I've always worked at UAB and also worked for 12 years uh, in the Army Reserve. So I was with, deployed with the Army uh, and did that at the same time I was with, uh, was with UAB. So. Cool. So tell me, what is a day like on your job? Get in here early. Um, the surgeries, they like to start as soon as they can. So this morning is actually a late start. It's about 730. So we'll start our first surgery. We'll roll in the operating room at 8 o'clock. Uh, they try to schedule this day as an education day. So right now, lots of people in my job and other nurses and people in the OR are, are doing things to help uh, continue their education. Uh, but typically, we'll get here. I'll get here about 5:30 to 6, start setting up, getting ready for procedures, uh, get find out whatever the cases are going to be. Uh, for example, today I'm working with people who are having orthopedic surgery or something on their bones. Um, UAB is a large trauma center, so we have a lot of car wrecks, a lot of people who uh, fall down, uh, various uh, bone trauma. So today we'll prepare whatever's necessary to help the patient uh, get through this surgery and give them what they need to, so they can have their bones prepared and hopefully move on to recover. Awesome. So what is the best thing about your job? Uh, there are so many things, but as in most jobs, I would say the people, uh, the experiences, you get to see so many different things. Even in the most boring hospital, uh, there's never a time that putting somebody to sleep isn't dangerous. Even if I do my job perfectly and safely, I'm still uh, in total control of so many different variables than the patients relying completely on me. So there's a lot of stress that goes with my job. Uh, but the rewards are great because you see people not only uh, get better, um, you see people in very stressful environments trust you, and that's rewarding. Um, but it's, there's a lot of rewards, and obviously if I were going to weigh one job against all the others and weigh the pros and cons against you know, one against the other, 
Um, certainly, if they were all equal, I might choose one where the salary was going to allow me to support my family better than another job. So, you know, there's lots of different things to consider and, you know, pros and cons and the investment and, and your return on the investment, certainly. What is a piece of advice that you would give a youth that was interested in your specific job? I would say, and again, it goes back to what I said. I think most, I, I believe this, whether everyone else believes it or not, but I believe that we're all gifted by God with certain um, certain things that we like, our pursuits, our gifts. Um, and I think that each of us, the 4 Hers, certainly you said a middle, middle school audience this morning, um, you're starting to understand the things that we like to do, uh, the things that interest us. Uh, and it might be everything, but as we start to realize more and more what you want to do, pursue what you want to do. Find a way to do the thing that interests you and you feel like will give you fulfillment, that you feel like will be a way to use if you believe that, that, that God gave you those gifts. Um, utilize those specific gifts, those attributes, and, and pursue those things. Um, usually the money will follow. And if you're doing what you're happy with, the money won't be as important. Uh, but there are always jobs typically that, that you will enjoy that will still allow you to have a, a, a rewarding life, whether it's financially or just simply with the, the fulfillment, and the joy that you get from the job, but pursue it, be happy with whatever you choose and just pursue it to the fullest, enjoy it. And, uh, and typically that will, that will come back and you'll be pleased with what you, what you've chosen. Awesome. And then any specific things about your job that you would tell somebody if they were wanting to, you pursue your same career? A lot of people, when they look up my career and they say, oh, well, you're just sitting in the operating room all day and that looks so boring. You're doing nothing. Well, if someone tells me that my day is going to be boring, I'm all for that. That's great. That means nothing went wrong. The patient's doing great. And, and that's a perfect boring day. That's awesome. That means the patient was safe because if something does go wrong, that's my job to take care of them. Then. So uh, my job is to prevent those things to see them hopefully before they happen and to help prevent them. So I want some boredom. That would be awesome. So don't just look on the surface of the jobs. Uh, most of the time, no one ever sees the things that happen behind the scenes. So if you enjoy science, if you feel like you're good with the various math and sciences and chemistry and things that go along with that, um, a lot of people in my field uh, thought they would be interested in engineering. That's kind of where I started. Uh, thinking that I would go into engineering. And, the, and my natural inclination towards science made that a lot easier. Uh, I've always enjoyed that. I've enjoyed the details of the job. So if that's something that interests you, I think that, uh, that anesthesia uh, would, be a, would be a great choice. It's, uh, it's served me well. There, it's a great market. There are lots of jobs out there right now. Um, the average salary for a nurse anesthetist is, is a good, very fair salary, and it's uh, something that you could do really well for your family with. So it's something that I would definitely recommend in the future. I have no regrets about my job choice. Awesome. And then the last thing, what is a piece of advice you want to give to every 4 hr as they are preparing for their future career and education endeavors? Pursue it to the fullest. Don't let anyone tell you no. Uh, there will be obstacles. It's probably not going to be worthwhile if it's easy. Uh, you're going to get out of it exactly what you put into it. Um, if it feels like there are obstacles or it's going to be hard, that probably means that's the right choice. That probably means it's worthwhile, whether it's going to school out of state or going to a school that you uh, you didn't think about beforehand or maybe even not going to college at all. Uh, you don't have to go to college to have a great, fulfilling life. But whatever your choice, just pursue it to the fullest. Uh, you Put your heart into it and, and you'll be happy. Awesome. Really great advice and awesome. Your job is very interesting. And thank you so much for taking your time with me this morning. Thank you very much.